everybody, welcome back to another video today. I kind of just have something on my mind and I don't really have anything like perfectly thought out or outlined, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about something today and I kind of thought, you know, sometimes moms get in a rut. What would be like a good, positive, inspiring video? And so that's why I chose the topic that I did today. So basically today I wanted to talk about mommy friends. I want to talk about the pros, the cons, all of that because it can get pretty intense. Um, I guess I could start by just saying that I truly believe that every single person needs a mommy friend. If you're a mommy, you need a mommy friend, somebody that you can confide in. So they can be younger than you, they can be older than you, but it's so helpful to have somebody as an ally, as somebody that knows exactly what you're feeling right now. Because sometimes our moms forget what it was like 20 years ago to be a mom, and things have changed, you know, the world has changed, cultures have changed, everything's changed because it's like the modern age, right? Um, but I just wanted to talk about mommy friends and kind of my experience with it. When I first became a mom, I didn't have any mommy friends. Um, we were very isolated. I was living in a college town in Provo and we were le moving soon. So I was just alone a lot and I just had Will. And so he wasn't very active and you know, a lot of my friends had had babies but they were like older. So it was just kind of like a different stage, kind of a lonely stage. And his first year of life when I started my YouTube channel was when um, I realized like how much I needed a mommy friend and I had some college friends and some random friends here or there but like nobody like in the neighborhood or anybody that I saw on a constant basis really um, and that was really difficult and really really lonely and that's why I started my channel. Fast forward a few years later when we bought our first house, I met some people in that neighborhood and that was really crucial to my happiness I feel like because I met other people who had children around the same age. We could kind of just be like, oh my gosh, this is so hard when a baby's teething or when your toddler is two and having a tantrum. We were all at the same stage of life and some of those friends today are some of my closest friends and our kids are really, really close and so that was a huge blessing. And now in my new neighborhood, I feel like I have found some really amazing friends as well who are also in the same stage of life. Some of them I know that we are going to be lifelong friends. You know you just meet some people and you just click. That is how I feel with some people that I've met just in the last couple of months. And so that being said, I feel like mommy friends are so important. But of course there are cons because they're, you know, in any women's situation I feel like there can be drama, there can be disagreements, there can be like a competition. I think that's really really common I feel like between moms that it's like well my kid's crawling faster or my kid's walking faster my, my kid has teeth faster my kid's smarter that just is like the beginning right like that's just what happens but there will always be situations where you know sometimes you just don't click with other moms and that's okay so I know not everybody has like a plethora of young moms within their reach I know it's really difficult but there are ways and things and places that you can find other mommy friends if you're willing to take yourself out of your shell. It's really scary and trust me, like I have been burned so many times as far as like making friends. Like I I would love, I love quantity and quality of friends. I would love to have 100 best friends. I feel like I have 33,000 really good friends and all of you guys. I feel like we should never limit ourselves to one friend or just two friends. I feel like the more people that we have in our lives, the better our perception of motherhood and parenting and all of that is. Um, and sometimes we can get burned. I've been burned multiple times. People don't like me, they don't like the way I parent, they don't like the way I dress, they don't like my personality, they don't like my kids, whatever. Sometimes it doesn't work out. But in the end, it's so worth it. There are moments when I'm just like, I leave some of my friends after hanging out with them and I'm just like, I feel so blessed to have another strong woman in my life that like uplifts me and motivates me and makes me feel better about what I'm doing as a mother, comforts me, doesn't you know bring me down and so there's pros and cons, you know, as you meet more friends and more people, some people are just not going to like you and that's okay, that's all right. But I think the risk is worth the reward because then you do find those amazing people who are just so empowering. So that is basically my quick little video today on mommy friends. Comment down below and let me know what you think about mommy friends. I guess what I'm saying is that it's important and it's risky because sometimes it can be it can be difficult and it can be dramatic. And I've had a lot of good and bad situations come from having mommy friends. But I feel like it's so crucial just to have someone out there that understands the stage of life that you're going through when you're going through it. So definitely don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to go to the local library or park or do things and you know kind of get out of your comfort zone and I promise you you will find friends and even if it's just through YouTube I am your friend I know there's lots of people that message me all the time who want mommy friends as well 
and just know that people need that support. So that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video and that is all. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited about today's video because it is a collab video with one of my closest friends here on YouTube, Jeannie, with a little bit about a lot. I'll put her.